Okay, so we're here on our fifth vlog, yes. more or less, right? More or less. And we're in, still in Valencia, in the abandoned streets in Valencia, because now in August all the students are back home, back home and they'll come back, I guess, in September, yes. October, they'll come back. And <clears throat> I thought while walking to the beach we'll talk about a few subjects, <laughs> um, like how does it feel about talking in front of the camera for the first time for yeah. YouTube that on the one hand we might stay anonymous and on the other hand maybe a lot of people will see it so and it's a bit strange speaking to the camera right what do it you feel is. I don't know well I feel a little bit awkward even though we were teachers so we're kind of used to speak in front of people but, but it's still it, different than speaking it's different in front of the you're, camera. You're, you're speaking to a stick so yeah. <laughs> it, it's not um, it doesn't come naturally at the beginning so we're practicing a lot um, because we want to feel comfortable and show you a lot of things hopefully what do you think yeah no <laughs> I, I, I agree speaking to a stick is especially when you have to think of well, what you talk about to the stick. Yes. You can't just look at the stick and not say anything, so you have to think about, about different subjects to talk about. And well, I guess being a teacher, it should be a bit easier to come up with ideas and because every time you need to keep the students entertained. Yeah. But uh, this is different because you don't get a feedback uh, immediately, right? Yeah, that, that's it. Maybe we could check out or something to the camera and we can make it. Maybe, like, a, uh, like a student, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it yeah. would be easy. <laughs> but it is a tiny camera, it will be a bit strange, like a shrunken head. Yes. Talking to a shrunken, shrunken head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, for those of you, most of you, almost all of you that are watching us now, that don't know us, um, we are starting this new travel channel. Um, why? Because we've been teachers for a long time and we just had a new baby girl yes <laughs> she's our mysterious traveler and we're not going to show her on video and um, for different reasons that we'll talk about perhaps in another time right yeah uh, but we're not going to show her on video but she's with us all the time right now sleep, <laughs> sleeping um, yeah. but we want to do something different that we can enjoy ourselves and be and raise our baby together being as a family and we love traveling right now we live in Spain in Valencia which yes. is where we are now um, and all of our current videos but we are planning on going to different parts of Spain in the next in the following months yes. we can't leave Spain because because our daughter doesn't have a passport yet so we are in the process of getting one once we'll get a passport, I think we'll go to Andorra. Maybe. Yes, Andorra. And, and Mar 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 Marrakesh is also in the, on the list, no? Definitely on the list. For those of you who know, um, is it possible to go to Morocco with a baby? Yeah. And if it is, what do we need to take care of? Because we have no idea. Uh, we tried checking a few things, but not too many people go to Morocco with babies. Or um, if it's too difficult, we'll go to a more baby friendly country I guess yeah but well at least one where she doesn't need all of her vaccinations <laughs> because she's not old enough for in order to have them so well we'll see, we'll see. Uh, about yeah. about Morocco we'll see even though it is on our bucket list yeah um, okay so here a bit more of Valencia, Valencia. be sorry to the Valencia no students all the students are home. It's a cloudy day today and, and Valencia usually has blue skies. You can see those blue skies in our other videos. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, okay, so I guess anything else? So... Well, yeah, that today it's a perfect day to go to the beach because you, you won't die under the sun because there's no shade. No shade. So when we walk to the beach, it's usually a 40 something, 45 almost an hour walk yeah so under the sun is uh, it's really difficult. tough it's difficult yeah. it's difficult yeah but um, today is a beautiful day to walk to the beach and we'll see you there 
Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here in Valencia, they have different places inside the city, part of the city, where they have gardens. Yeah. Now, some of these gardens are private gardens, like small vegetable farms, where it's private and it belongs to one family, one person. And some of them they rent out plots so families can come on weekends and tend to their gardens and have vegetables, fruits, whatever they want to make salads and have some good time and educational time with their families. So I thought I'll show it. It's really nice. So this is one of them. Yeah. Uh, we arrived to the beach and look at this. Look what's happening here. Oh my god. It's a storm. It's a storm. So the weather said that tomorrow it was going to rain and today it was going to be nice 27, 28 degrees but it's a storm, everybody is escaping. Yeah, we have a sandstorm coming. Yeah, there's a sandstorm coming. So I guess we'll head back home because Maya might be a bit cold and we didn't come <laughs> with anything. It's progress, come on! It's yes. summer! It is summer. Very strange, or maybe not strange anymore. Who knows what's going on with the weather nowadays. Wow. So, okay. yeah, I, I'm not even sure anybody can hear what we're saying here. So, okay guys, this is there's a storm here, sand coming into my eyes. And look at the look at and this. water also coming. Yeah, and it's starting to rain. Okay guys, so we're heading back home because this is not a day for the beach. Um, oh, and we'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, okay, see ya. Right. Bye. Bye. Okay guys, so I thought we'll show you a bit more of the storm. Look at this. Look at this. This was totally unexpected. The sand here is... We're planning to go over there, over there, Patacona, which is a very nice beach and yes. we like it very much. They have nice restaurants, it's a nice beach, but now this is about 40 minute walk. More or less, yes. Yeah, with and the way, and now with the way, and now it's raining also. Yeah. Oh guys, we just thought so. we'll show you again what's going on. It's, this came out of nowhere and well, we'll see you later in a more quiet street. Yeah. Okay, just one last look. So now we're back in a more quiet street. The wind is it's more or less ended, I guess. But at the beach, it's I think it's still windy, and over here, it became a bit more settled down. Yeah. But it's still raining a little bit. Anyway, we're on the way back home because today is not a day for the beach. Um, we want to show you this street here. This is a street uh, parallel to Marosa, which we didn't know about for yeah. some reason. And very close to the beach and it has everything. Unlike many places in Valencia today, it has people. And it's not in the city center, so most places that are empty, this street is quite alive. And you can find everything you need here. Uh, yeah. Shops, restaurants, oh, supermarkets. Yeah. The streets are a little bit, the sidewalks are a little bit narrow. Yeah, but it's okay. We're go walking with a stroller. If you don't walk with a stroller, I don't think you'll have a problem. Okay, so this is the street and we'll talk about a few more things when we get to a more quiet street with not so many people because it's still very strange for me to hold the camera <laughs> when there are so many people yeah. around. <laughs> it is. What to do. Okay. <laughs> So, I forgot to mention the name of that street that we were at before is uh, Avenida de la Malvarosa. Yes. Avenida de la Malvarosa. Okay. So, here we're back, um, going back home in a quiet street where I feel comfortable using the camera again. <laughs> and, and I thought we'll talk about a little bit, since we talked before about uh, talking in front of the camera, also talking about... <clears throat> 
topics to talk about. <laughs> so I remember as a teacher, you always try to find ways of making the lesson interesting. Yes. And here it, it feels very similar. Like you have to find topics to keep it interesting, not only for the viewers, but also for, I guess, especially even for us. Yes. You know? Because we have to be interested in the conversation for it to, to work. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah it's, it's true. It's just that um, it's a little bit challenging at the, at the beginning because it's like when you are starting a new course, you don't know your students, so you need to get used to it and find what works for them. So we are trying to find out what works for you and for us. Yeah. So for those of you who do have some recommendations, um, we would love to to hear from you now yes. to get some recommendations and um, any anything would help and uh, we're just starting and you can see that this is a bit amateurish and very <laughs> raw okay and um, so here there's a church hospital no, this is the hospital this is the hospital right so, but it used to be a church or no it was a monastery it was a monastery okay let's walk through here yeah let's walk through here okay guys so Ah, um, a curious, yeah. curious uh, point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 the name of the street is Avinguda because here in Valencia everything is written in Valenciano. Oh yeah, Catalan. Which is uh, like Catalan. Yeah, no, okay. it is Catalan, not like Catalan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, fine. Valencians don't like to be compared with Catalans, but it, but okay. Okay. Uh, and also, I thought, like, what do you guys think? I was thinking like right now the videos that we make here in Valencia um, I'm not Spanish and my wife is even though she wasn't but we both of us are not Valencians no we're not so but we are living in Valencia and the videos that we're making now we're not so much tourists here are we no we're not no and um, so it's a bit I don't know if we can call this a travel vlog for the time being and even though we are trying to show different things in Valencia and how it is to be here. But if you guys have any suggestions, things that you would like to know about this city uh, regarding maybe prices or uh, hotels, disponibility or those kind of stuff, so please let us know. Uh, and the sun came out in the meanwhile. Yeah. The Crazy sun came weather. out. But still, yeah, the weather did change and but we're not going back to the beach today. No. no. We'll, we'll go on a different day and we'll do this. With uh, oh, blue this, skies. Yeah, hopefully. with blue skies. We'll do this beach trip the way, the way it should be. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, guys. So, um, right now, yeah, oh, and here's the tram. Okay. Um, so, if we'll think of any other things that are that have to do with this subject of um, starting a YouTube channel and starting to do videos and starting to talk to a stick. And yeah. um, then we'll add some more information, but for the time being, I guess. Well, yeah, for the time being, I think that's all. But again, if you have suggestions, please let us know. Okay, yeah. down there. Yeah. Okay, so here is another quiet street where it's a bit more comfortable to talk to, yeah. the, to the camera. And I thought we'll talk a little bit about why we decided to do a travel channel and not a family channel or how to do channel or any other kind of channels they have out there because with a baby it's not that easy to travel after all and, yeah. and a family channel would maybe make a bit more sense. But we said that we don't want to show Maya on camera. That's because true. yeah we don't want to exploit her when she doesn't have a choice yeah. uh, she doesn't have a say in the matter so we don't want to exploit her for views or for anything of the sort and since we can't show the baby having a family channel doesn't make much, much sense uh, it doesn't make much sense and traveling well we love traveling and yeah. uh, i've seen a lot of the world and natalie not so much so she has a lot of catching up to do and <laughs> since we are going to travel anyway we figured why not try and share with whoever is interested yeah, in our adventures exactly. also and yes yeah. we are good 
walkers. Both oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very good walkers. We love walking. That's why we love Valencia so much because it's flat. Yes. The city is just flat. You can walk the whole city. You can just walk without a problem. Most tourists take bicycles and, and now they have the electric scooters that are very popular. But yeah, it's a flat city. So as you can see, it's a flat city. So it's very easy to walk and we love walking anyway. Yeah. So it makes it very comfortable for us. So also traveling, it's better when you walk because you get to see more things and yeah. interact with people, which is also something we need to um, experience doing with the camera, interacting with um, random strangers on the streets, right? <laughs> yeah. We haven't done that yet. Well, not so much. Uh, maybe in a few restaurants where, or stores where in we a, talk to stores, people. Yeah. yeah, but not just like that on the street, just asking people how they're doing or whatever you do when you interrupt people in the street with a camera. Uh, so we also have to experience doing that. Um, yeah. So yeah, well, a lot of um, adventures, um, fears and worries and excitement. Um, most, most of all excitement. Uh, most of all excitement. It's, it's something new and, you know, as, as always you try something new, it's a risk. But we're willing to take that risk oh, well, 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 well we're going to travel anyway so we may as well <laughs> uh, video it and upload it to share and whoever is interested in joining our adventures will will join our adventures yeah. right um, okay so I guess we more or less covered almost everything that we can think of right now about having a new channel the way we feel why we've done it and our hopes for the future I think yeah um, yeah. <laughs> so and fingers crossed. Yeah. For those of us who are watching, those of you who are watching, if you have any other questions, we promise to read all the comments and answer them in the following videos. And if not, we'll well we'll make new content that is interesting and fun for us, and hopefully also for, for you. For you, exactly. Right? Okay, yeah. guys. Uh, hopefully this is the last time we say goodbye. <laughs> And, and if not, so not, so we'll talk a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you later. See you later. So long.